Hey, Budget Buddies, welcome to another week, another edition of Budget Buddies with Abby and Liz. Um, I am Liz, and I am joined here by Abby. Hello. Happy Monday. Yeah. It seems like it should be like Wednesday. Oh, I know. August How was your day? Busy. Did you have a good day? What did you do today? <laughs> oh, I did. Did you? I did. Um, I had the day off today. Lily turned seven last Thursday, and we had a very busy weekend with a local, uh, like, town festival. It was, like, four days, three days long. And so I took the day so that I could kind of clean and meal prep and just kind of have, like, a day to recover. And I got everything I wanted done. Nope. This is Lily's. Okay, go, go play. Happy birthday! This is Lily. I'm single parenting tonight. Bo's off working, so. <laughs> and um, so yeah. So today I spent the day cleaning, and we had a little leak in our roof that people were coming to look at. But plus side of renting. I don't have to pay for it. Budget buddy win. <laughs> That's very true. Yep. Yeah. So how was your day, Liz? It was good. I worked. Um, it was really productive. I like reorganized my office. I was off last Friday because I worked two events over the weekend. And on my day off, I went into work to organize my office because it's like a relatively new like space that I have. And so I felt really like good today, like excited to go in. And I was really productive and I feel really good about it. So good. Um, that is that's exciting. It's yep. good to be productive. It is. Yep. It, it is. Makes you feel like you're earning that money too. Right? Absolutely. Speaking of money, <laughs> is <laughs> so for anybody who's new to Budget Buddies, this is where we do a regular check-in. Um, Liz and I will share, we have five different budget categories that we go off of. Um, and we have different budgets for each of our families, but we just kind of compare and see how we did sticking as close or under we, as we could. Liz, do you want to explain quickly uh, for anybody that's new watching our uh, cash envelopes and taking money side to side, but not week to week and then yeah. cool. Okay. So our categories, which we'll link um, to a free printable once we're done here. So if you're watching this later, there should be a link in the comments to our um, printable with our categories. So the five categories, roughly, you might have four, you might have more, um, depending on like if you have a partner, if you have kids. So groceries, other, which is like, that's the big difference, I feel like, of how we do our weekly budget, which we got it from, um, Jordan Page with what is it funcheaperfree.com she's yeah. on YouTube and she's great so we can link she that too great. but um the other budget is like eating out miscellaneous things haircuts like anything that is other so then um you have your own personal spending um if you and your partner budget together then they're spending um I think Abby does one for her daughter Lily Right. Yeah. So I realized Lily needed a budget category because especially now she's going into second grade and it's back to school and she's taking dance. So I don't have a category for her yet. I will probably starting next week. But anything we spend on her right now is going into the other category. That's what I do with my kids, too. Yep. Um, and then last but not least, gas or transportation or um, however you get around. So, um, and what we mean by borrowing side to side is um, you can borrow within that week. So if you go over on groceries, you can take it from your other budget, you can take it from your personal spending, but what you can't, <laughs> what you can't do is end up being like $100 over at the end of the week and just take it from next week's because you're setting yourself up for failure. You're never going to stick to that next week's budget. Um, it's just not going to work. So you really have to be like strict and diligent to not be taking money from the future. 
Um, and one way, well, kind of the only way that we like fix that if we do go over is doing side hustles. Mm -hmm. um, so Abby's like the queen of side hustles. She like sells <laughs> stuff on Facebook. She cleans people's houses. Pop what cans. Else? Returning pop cans, yep. Ibotta surveys, coupons. Picking up that penny that you walk past in the Target parking lot. I count all of that. I know. I do, too. Yep. I go sometimes I like go through my house and like look on top of the washing machine or under the cushions, like looking for any change to help me. So I'm not over. Um, yep. We got um, this is something I keep meaning to like say somewhere on our channel or whatever is um, we did a research study at the local <laughs> university. And over the course of like six months, we probably made like one hundred dollars. Um, so, and then I was looking and you can actually look those up. Um, so for us, we got a letter in the mail cause our baby was the right age of what they were studying. But like, um, you can look up how to be part of like research studies. And, um, a lot of times they'll compensate you. We got target gift cards and then my, um, my baby got to like pick out a toy every time we were there. So like get creative with your side hustles. Um, I'm sure you could do like secret shopping if you're up for all of the like spam emails that you get when you sign up for that. <laughs> Um, all of that. I, yeah. And if you do that, I recommend setting up a separate email account, which I should have done, but I did not. And then I spent a very long time going through unsubscribing from a lot of spam. Yeah, I've yeah. been there and I never yeah. did a mystery shop either. Me either. But I signed up for, I just keep, I keep getting emails, but it's like, I don't know. Some of them, they're just so bizarre. The mm -hmm. ones Offered in my my market, maybe depending on where you live, you get more reasonable ones. But mine's like, go buy a set of tires, tell us how it went, and here's fifty cents. Essentially, <laughs> it's not that dramatic, but it's yep. it's definitely not worth doing it for yep. where we live. When I lived in Chicago, the one that I always got was like going to a 7-Eleven and trying to buy cigarettes without an ID, and I'm Ooh. like, I, that just makes me uncomfortable. And then plus look at me like they still card me and I'm 30. So it's like they're even if I don't, I think you were supposed to say like, oh, I don't have an ID and like you're supposed to see what they do or whatever. But I never did it because it made me uncomfortable. That's so. kind of fun, though, because it's almost like you're playing detective. Mm -hmm. It's paid to play detective. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I get that, though. Yeah. Well, um, oh, yeah. before we get started on our budgets, we have mm. a giveaway announcement. Um, so we have a $15 off a purchase of $35 at walmart.com for school supplies. And um, so last week we had a contest um, so that we could give that away. And um, drum roll. Drum roll. So the winner is Angela Fitkin Burke. You are the winner. And you the promo code it's all online so like we don't need to send you anything in the mail it'll just be a promo code and so basically for twenty dollars you're gonna get thirty five dollars worth of school supplies awesome congratulations, congratulations angela and thank you so much for your help and for watching we really appreciate it yes absolutely uh, so let's see i had a good week last week do you want me to go through my numbers yeah go ahead all right so um, for groceries last week, my budget, um, oh, let me, I'm going to say Liz's week. Oh. Love it. Now it's putting it over our faces. There we go. Okay. Um, so, uh, for groceries, our budget is $60. And this week we spent $61.71. Um, we spent about $21 at Target. And I use my Target card for that. So um, uh, because I'm like such a perfectionist, this is how my week goes. So like for my groceries, I go to Target first and use my Target card to get the 5% off. And then whatever is left in my grocery budget, then I know how much money to like get out in cash. Um, yeah, nice. So, that's what I do. so then the remaining, <coughs> the remaining $40 um, we went to Aldi and then there were some good sales at Hy-Vee. Um, and then for our other category, we budget $20 a week and we spent that. We went to a local um, like dine-in pizza place and it's where you can get the tokens and the kids can play games and win prizes. Um, so we did that one evening and it was awesome. And it like, 
me and Adam were talking about like how much more fun it is when you know that like you can afford it. And we went on a night when their pizzas are like $15 instead of $20 and you know, like, nice. um, yeah. So it's just a lot more fun when you know that like, like, Oh, we really can't afford this, but we just don't want to cook. Like it was planned. Yeah. It was fun. It was awesome. Um, Plan better, Janet. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then for my personal spending, I budget $20. I spent $17.51. That was on one lunch out at work. And then I bought like an organizer thing for my desk. Um, so I only ate out one time last week. I ate That's out awesome. more than that, but it was paid for by work because like I had some days when I was traveling, which is like a huge bonus of my job. Mm -hmm. So, um, cause I love free food. If you know me at all, you know, I love free food. So, mm -hmm. um, who for, does it? I know. Yep. Um, one of my proudest achievements in life is when I was in college, one of my teachers made some comment about like how he could all, this wasn't in a weird way. He made some comment about like how he could always count on me for like taking the cupcake. Like if somebody brought like treats into class, like Liz always would eat it. And I don't know why that stands out and I'm so <laughs> proud of it, but you know, cause I That's do. Cute. So anyway, <laughs> um, so then Adam's spending was $20. He spent all 20 of it, but he didn't go over. So that was awesome. Um, <laughs> then for gas, we filled up both the cars once and we spent $72.66. So for those of you doing um, the math at home, as I'm sure you are, we had $5.08 left over. And hopefully I'm doing the math right. I can't remember if I like, I might've taken some pop cans back or something. So if it seems weird and you are doing the math, <laughs> just trust me that I had $5 left over. Yay. Congratulations. Yay. That's never happened before. No side hustle required. No. Yep. Nice. Awesome. Good. So tell us about your week. So we had a really busy week. Um, we were out a lot. I th I think I did my numbers right. I might have to go back and do like a like a an edit on it. But um, I was kind of surprised at how little we spent. But I maybe that's because we spent so much this last weekend, which will be in next week's buddy budget buddies. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go with what I think we spent. And so our budget for groceries is a hundred dollars. And we spent $34.80. Our other budget is $50. And our other budget includes spending for Lily, um, going to the movies, any sort of entertainment, anything we need for our house, like um, toilet paper, laundry, soap, anything like that. And we only spent $26.66. For gas, we spent $35.55. And our budget is $40. And then... <laughs> Oh, we increased our personal spending. Um, I forget why, because it was only temporary. I feel like it was because we were going to be out. So I, that's why. So because we were going to be out every night, um, Lily had a two-hour dance practice every single night starting on the 29th. Wow. And so, yeah, it was intense. So we didn't have turnaround for being home was very short and a few nights I had made dinner but um that's why we bumped it up so we bumped it because we count our eating out under our personal budgets so okay. um forty dollars we each got forty dollars and he spent thirty nine fifty two and I went over and I spent fifty dollars and eight cents but okay. you were under in groceries and others, so. Yes. So we came out for the week ahead, $83.39. Mm -hmm. That's real money. And we pull it over because in next week's episode, spoiler, you're going to hear about back to school shopping and um, the Big Town Festival that we went to and then Lily's birthday. And all of that's really expensive. Spoiler, we went over budget in the future. <laughs> Probably. So, I haven't added it up, though. Here's the thing. Every week we've been saying, spoiler alert, we're going to go over budget next week. But then we don't. We find a way not to. So, That's like, true. Yeah. That is true. Because so our side hustle has to happen this week still. Yep. 
I guess stay tuned. Will we? Won't we? Yeah. Events. Cliffhanger. Yeah, we're, <laughs> I think we're already, so it's Monday. I think we're already like $43 over budget for the week. So, but me and Adam were talking about it and like how we can make that up. And yeah, so. weekends are tough, especially August. I feel like this is a very expensive month, which uh, Liz and I are in a couple different Facebook groups about budgeting and things. And I feel like that's the gist. A lot of people say this back to school and doctor visits. And I just feel like it's a very expensive month. Yeah. Like you wouldn't think so. Like you think like December or something, no. is the big, which December is another big one, but yeah, but yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's pretty expensive. Yep. So uh, yeah, if you guys want, go ahead and I'm sorry, I cut you off. What? Nothing. I'm just eating my cough drop. So just go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you still have your cough? Mm hmm. Uh, I'm sorry. Well, um, I was just going to say for anybody watching the replay, please feel free to give us a heart for us not going over our budgets because we need applause to live and it makes us feel good that you heart us. And if you are watching and you want to share your numbers to hold yourself accountable, that would be lovely or you can private message us, or you can go find your budget buddy at work, or um, you know, if it's your spouse or your partner, that's great too. Go find a random stranger on the street. Walk up to a person at the grocery store and say, hey, how much did you spend? <laughs> spend this. That would be really funny. We should do that. We should like an undercover camera, just like. That'd be um, good. I'm not gonna that do that, but that'd be funny. I would watch no, that. Yes, would you film me doing it? Because I would do it. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Yep. If uh, you want to see Liz and I go to a grocery store and ask random people, put a laughy face. <laughs> <laughs> and we might, we were talking about possibly doing a poll to see if people wanted a like a um, private buddy, oh, budget yeah. buddy group to like share their numbers in because we've noticed that like we don't get a ton of like people sharing actual numbers on our like public page. And so we're thinking that maybe if we had like a private um, page that you had to like be a member of, um, mm -hmm. then people would be more into like holding each other accountable. So we'll put up a poll like sometime this week. Um, so be yeah. watching for that and let us know um, if you would join something like that. Um, that's what we do with our midweek clean with us group. And we find that a lot more people are willing to post pictures of their messy houses on a private group than they are on a public group where it like notifies your friends about how messy your house is. So mm -hmm. unless you're Liz and I, and then you're like, yeah, we're just going to put it out to anybody. We we're doing it anyway. <laughs> we were. So right. yeah, if you, if you haven't joined our midweek clean with us, you should. And we will leave a link to it in the uh, comments of this video. Yeah. All right. Well, good week, Abby. We were both you under budget. Yeah. Um, you were really under budget. So that's But that's good. because we really needed it for the following week. Well, you're planning ahead. That's good. That's you're true. planning you're planning better, Janet. So nice. we're that's our joke about PB and J. So anyway, have a good evening, everybody. And thanks Bye. for watching. And um don't make any dumb uh, financial decisions this week. Yeah, don't get a credit card. Yeah, don't do that. All right. <laughs> okay, bye. bye. <laughs>